Hello and welcome to this video series about BIM 9 and private BIM clouds. My name is Brian Smith and in this video you're going to learn about some of the hardware configurations being used to host and connect to private BIM clouds. Now this is the first video you've watched in this series. I'll show you how to connect to the other videos at the end of this video. At BIM 9, our primary focus is to help you deliver on the promise of BIM. By that we mean to help you use BIM within your organization as successfully as possible. Selling computer hardware is not our primary focus, but we do have a highly skilled IT staff that can help build both desktop and rack mounted machines optimized specifically to squeeze out as much performance as possible from both Revit and AutoCAD based software. We can also help you spec and purchase equipment if you're already working with a particular vendor, or we can analyze your existing hardware to set performance expectations and to make recommendations in order for your private BIM cloud to be as effective as possible. So let's look at some examples of hardware that we can provide or is being used to host a private BIM cloud. First, let's take a look at the system I connected to in our previous video. This BIM 9 Box 35 computer physically sits in our Las Vegas office, and this desktop has an i7 4-core processor with 32 gigabytes of 2333 MHz RAM, SSD hard drives in a RAID 0 configuration, and a standard video card. This machine can support 3 to 5 users, which is set by the size of the Revit models you're working with. Now there are many things to consider, but for the sake of this discussion, let's assume that the Revit models that you're working on are under 300 megabytes total. This machine would easily accommodate five users. If you're working with larger models, we can help you calculate how many users this computer would support. If you prefer, we can also build the same configuration in a 3U rack mount case, which we call the BIM 9 Rack 35, or the BIM 9 Rack 710, which supports 7 to 10 users, still in a 3U rack mount case. These are some other hardware manufacturers in different configurations that also host private BIM clouds. Looking down the list, you'll notice that there's a wide range of acceptable solutions based on the application. Here are the basic specs for a private BIM cloud running on an HP Z800 workstation. This machine has dual Xeon processors given a total of 12 cores. This particular machine has 96 gigabytes of RAM and two video cards and again, depending on the project, can support 10 to 20 users. A beautiful workstation, the Box 3970 Extreme. BIM 9 has collaborated with Box and as you can see, Bill DeBevick and Lonnie Compton, the founders of BIM 9, have reviewed several of the Box workstations. You can check out their 3970 Extreme review in Augie World. You can see here though that this system is also based on i7 processor with 4 cores, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and can support between 3 and 5 users. One of the first private BIM clouds was actually based on Mac Pros. Both Lonnie Compton and Bill DeBevick did a lot of benchmarking and figured out that the Mac Pros ran Revit and other Autodesk products very efficiently natively. When they found themselves with a surplus of Mac Pros, instead of letting them sit around, they put them to good use and built a combination render farm and private BIM cloud. Each of the dual Xeon 8-core machines with 32 gigabytes of RAM were configured to run a 3D Studio Max render node and support two to three private BIM cloud users at the same time. Not only was a private BIM cloud user not able to tell if someone else was using a private BIM cloud, they couldn't even tell if the machine was also rendering. Finally, I'd like to mention a very unique private BIM cloud. Again, our IT staff, thinking outside the box to solve problems, helped a contractor with a portable private BIM cloud that ran on a Dell laptop. These guys figured out that even rugged laptops don't bounce well, and it was hard to find equipment that could withstand the conditions of the construction world. So the goal was to use inexpensive laptops or tablets outside while protecting this more expensive, higher-powered laptop inside their drop trailer. With this two-user solution, those in the field could connect to this i7 quad-core laptop with 8 gigabytes of RAM without worrying about not only equipment damage, but the loss of what was even more valuable, their data. 
One last thing to mention when it comes to equipment and simultaneous users. At RTC North America 2012, BIM 9 was a gold hardware sponsor. In the classrooms where 13 Revit classes were held, BIM 9 had four private BIM Cloud machines doing all the heavy lifting and had 21 older MacBook Pros that each of the students used, many of which were very surprised they were even running Revit from a MacBook. In the BIM 9 booth at RTC, we had a 10-user Box 8920 and was connecting anything with a remote desktop client to it, including desktops, laptops, and even iPads. So I hope this gives you a better understanding of the hardware that's used in private BIM clouds. We looked at 3 to 5 user systems, 7 to 10 user systems, and even 10 to 20 user systems. If you need more simultaneous users or are ready to expand your private BIM cloud, just let us know and we can help with finding the right solution. At this point, you can choose what you'd like to learn about private BIM clouds next. Go back and watch the introduction of private BIM clouds or see the performance of connecting to a private BIM cloud, or continue on to learn about the challenges a private BIM cloud solves, hear what some clients had to say about BIM 9, or how to get started with a private BIM cloud in your office, including some specifications and pricing information. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Brian Smith. For any other information, be sure to check us out on the web at BIM9.com.